I think patients should think very seriously about UF and Shands for their lung cancer treatment. Not only do we have the latest uh, chemotherapeutic trials and access to, to things that maybe not every hospital has access to, but we also have progressive surgical and interventional techniques here that aren't available everywhere. Um, the collaborative approach of the physicians where the case is presented at a multidisciplinary conference and a consensus opinion as to what's the best treatment for them, it offers the opportunity for 15 or 20 physicians to, to weigh in on what they think the appropriate care would be rather than a single physician. Um, the addition of some of the newer technologies like robotic technology, like thoracoscopic technology, minimally invasive surgery, some of the airway management techniques, stenting, uh, lasering, things like that, navigational bronchoscopy, those are really uh, high-end techniques that are just not available everywhere. And I think we're uniquely positioned to make sure that the patient has a good experience with the multidisciplinary clinic where they can come and have essentially one-stop shopping where they can see everybody they need to see in one visit and then in a very timely fashion can have their care plan structured and presented to them as to what we think would be the best opportunity for a cure. Surgery plays a very important role in the treatment of lung cancer. It's one of the nice things about being a surgeon is, is that we know uh, often when we can offer surgery as the main treatment for lung cancer, that's a patient we feel very good about our chance to cure and chance to have them do exceptionally well. Uh, the, the removal of the tumor and then the verification that the lymph nodes are not involved with tumor is, is one of the best messages you can ever deliver to a patient. Treatment strategies for lung cancer really offer a unique opportunity for collaborative care. It, it allows all of the key parties to come together, the medical oncologists, the pulmonologists, the, even the radiologists, um, uh, radiation oncology, everybody has to agree upon a treatment plan because this is one of the opportunities to really impact the outcome of a patient with this multifaceted approach. It's a very complex disease process and as such it requires physicians from multiple subspecialties to all work together to get the patient the best outcome. Well, lung cancer needs to be treated differently in each person, not only because of the biologic variability between people, um, the cancer may not behave the same in each person, but additionally, there can be some nuances to one person or another's um, medical problems and their genetic makeup that makes one therapy versus another more appropriate. So it's going to be an overall assessment of the patient's health status that determines whether or not surgery is appropriate, as well as an evaluation of, of what exactly they have from a cancer burden. And then within the biologic variability of the tumor, that may determine which specific chemotherapeutic or radiotherapy regimens are also appropriate. Surgical procedures for lung cancer can range from just diagnostic procedures, uh, like using a small scope to look at the nodes, uh, lymph nodes, or to perform a wedge resection of the lung just for diagnosis, to actually removing the tumor and, and verifying complete lymph node basins are clean, such as lobectomies. Um, some of the more unique things that we're able to do here are uh, thoracoscopic, meaning using just small scopes uh, and, and keyhole incisions, uh, or even robotic uh, surgeries for the removal of the lung and the lung tissue, depending on the patient's disease process. There's a tremendous amount of biologic variability in lung cancer. Not only are there different subtypes of lung cancer, but even within the subtypes there's variability. And it's, it's very important to have a collaborative and multidisciplinary approach to it because that allows us to determine who would be the optimal candidates for some of the newer and more progressive chemotherapies or even adjuvant treatments after surgery to try and ensure that the patient remains disease free. So one of the first things you have to evaluate and it's important to determine for patients with masses in the lungs is, is it a primary lung cancer? Is it not a cancer of any type? Or is it a secondary or a metastasis from another site? And it's important because they're all treated differently. Uh, primary lung cancer, we hope to find that it's just limited to the lung and that it's not in any of the lymph nodes and that we can surgically remove it. Uh, if it's transferred to some lymph nodes and things like that, then we sort of rely on chemotherapy and radiation to, to help with that. Um, conversely, if it started somewhere else and they have secondary lung cancer or metastasis, then those, uh, if that's the only focus of disease remaining, we can often remove it and, and really impact their, their course. 
think I would say that our overall general philosophy of care for lung cancer patients is first to try and make it as convenient and cohesive as we possibly can for the patient. To have them come and in one visit see all of the involved physicians. Then to ensure that there's a thoughtful, careful um, determination of what the best treatment plan for them is. And then to present it to them and let them determine what they want to do. Um, patients are in a, a a terrible position in that they've been told that they might have lung cancer. They're very anxious. They don't know what the treatment options might be. And our goal is to do everything possible to alleviate that anxiety that the patient may be experiencing and to ensure that they get the best treatment plan so that they can have the best outcome possible from their disease process.